Greetings guys and gals, H. Cortez, aka The Coach, coming to you from Thornton Online Marketing here on a rainy Monday uh, afternoon in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, day 12, Empower Network Challenge. Uh, actually, this is my second video of today and, and there's a hint for you guys who are uh, getting started with Empower Network. Uh, basically, you're, you're taught to uh, blog daily at least one blog post um, and uh, record a video daily uh, but what happens if you do more than than the minimum uh, uh, you should receive um, more than the the, the minimum or, or average results uh, but the the video that I did this morning uh, was basically a video um, where I quoted India Iree's uh, song talk to her and there's a line that I like um, in that particular song where she says the words that come out of your mouth you're the first to hear uh, and I just thought that was profound and um, cautioning us to um, think about how we address one another um, and I took it a step further and we talked a little bit about how to um, actually um, the words that do not come out of your mouth you know those words that are just floating around in your head and basically those conversations that you're having with yourself um, and and how critical they are so I just want to continue on that theme with more more on uh, PMA or, or what they call positive mental attitude and how important that is to your not only success in any endeavor that you uh, choose to partake in but also your uh, overall happiness and and mood and and which also affects your relationships. Um, uh, uh, there's a quote that I also like. Um, I don't know where this one came from, but it basically says that uh, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. Um, and that's something else that that you know, uh, as a youth basketball coach, I. I I use that one with my kids uh, all the time and, and trying to get them out of the habit of always focusing on what they can't do and, and to get them to um, shift that focus onto uh, what they can do and taking pride in what they can accomplish instead of feeling down about that which they cannot accomplish. So the same thing both for adults, man. Uh, you got to be positive. You got to have... A mental attitude that says uh, that pretty much looks at the good and everything and not not the, um, the the bad and and I'm what's called an eternal optimist I mean I it is very hard for me to see negative in anything and sometimes that's to a fault um, because sometimes you have to face reality and some things are just negative uh, or, or the outcome or it is not what you want it to be uh, but I always look at how the situation can be turned around and at the very least there is always a lesson in everything I don't care how bad a situation is um, you can take and learn from that lesson and build on it to have future success so even though I may go through something that gets me down momentarily uh, or cause me some sort of sadness or frustration momentarily I can always extract a lesson from that that will propel me to happiness in the future so even that which is negative I turn around for for my positive um, and I'm not real big on, on memorizing scriptures from, from biblical texts but but there is one scripture that says count it all joy um, when you go through things uh, whether they're good things or bad things you count it all joy because when you go through the rough times they sharpen you and they harden you and prepare you for uh, rough times in the future uh, and of course I'm paraphrasing but uh, uh, but you, you count it all joy um, because you know you, you start to develop uh, perseverance when you go through tough times you start developing a certain mental toughness when you go through struggles you start developing a certain resourcefulness when you go without uh, and I know all too well about developing that resourcefulness because I, I was raised by a single mom and for most of my life we were on welfare and food stamps and never having a whole lot uh, I was just telling my wife the other day 
um, that my mom, we never owned a car uh, as I was a child coming up. So we learned how to ride our bikes all over the city and, and catch, you know, public transportation and, and, you know, get a cab and, and all those sorts of things. I, I, I had a son who um, had band camp uh, actually during the work uh, days. It was from like four o'clock to uh, nine o'clock in the, the evening and didn't, you know, that's four o'clock is obviously before my wife and I get home from work. Um, and he was basically looking for some sort of transportation and now his school is three miles away from the house um, and he has a 21 speed bike and and it never occurred to him to get on the doggone bike and ride it to, to, to the school uh, so we, we found that funny but it's because of the things we have been afforded even though we we still live paycheck to paycheck we we do have uh, a vehicle uh, two vehicles between his, his mom and I and they are just used to, hey, I need a ride and, and, and give me a ride. And, you know, just never thought to to uh, either walk or catch uh, or, or take the uh, the bike and, and ride it up there. It was a beautiful day. Um, so, yes, when you go through struggles, it strengthens you is basically what I'm saying. So that's why the scripture in the Bible says that you will count that all joy because you're going through something today that's going to prepare you and make you better able to go through a similar situation in your future. So I just thought I'd share that and continue on a theme that I had from this morning, man, because those conversations that you have with yourself are critical. And also the attitude that you have uh, as it relates to the circumstances that you're currently in also is critical and most of the time that determines actually how long you're going to stay in that situation right because if you think about a fighter who's been knocked to the canvas it's his attitude that determines in a lot of cases whether or not they're going to get up or not now obviously if you take a good blow and you are literally knocked senseless then you're not going to get up from that but maybe you catch a blow on the chin at the right moment at the right time where you wasn't quite braced for it. And that's what's called a flash knockdown. Well, your attitude about who you are, about who your opponent is, in a lot of cases, determine whether or not you're going to get up off that canvas. And I've seen many a fights where uh, that flash knockdown happened. Uh, there, it, it wasn't a, um, a punch that caused a whole lot of damage. But you can tell there was a mental struggle or there was a little bit of mental weakness within that person and they made a choice to stay on the canvas. And at the same time, I've seen that flash knockdown happen where guys uh, realized that, hey, that was a mistake that got me caught and got up off the canvas and actually knocked the other guy out completely. So there's a big difference in the mental attitude and the mental toughness. Um, and some of those fighters have actually been down in fights before and have come back to win. So that plays a, good, a part in it. And that goes to the toughness that you develop from going through a tough situation. Or, uh, and, you know, so basically you got to make sure that you keep a positive mental attitude. One of the ways that you do that is by surrounding yourself with positive people. Uh, one of the things, uh, another way that you do that is by putting in positive information into your CPU um, uh, frequently and, um, and then um, basically speaking positive things about yourself, seeing yourself in a positive light, no matter the circumstance that you're going to going through. So uh, a lot of this information um, is being trained in the Empower Network uh, suite of, uh, of, of educational products. If you're not familiar with Empower Network, definitely click the link below. Uh, not only is it a phenomenal way to generate an income stream, but it's a phenomenal way to change your mental self so that you can be a better husband, better father, better son, better friend, uh, better citizen in this uh, society that we're living in. So click the link below. Check out Empower Network. I'm H. Cortez, a.k.a. The Coach. I'm out. Peace.